G'day and welcome to the fourth video for the application on calculus and derivatives. Um, in this video we're going to be looking at sketching gradient functions. So we have the original graph and we want to sketch the gradient based on that um, original graph. Um, and the way that I've, I've sort of done this at the start is to kind of uh, step you through um, I guess point by point um, because I guess that's what the de derivative graph is. It's finding the derivative at each individual point and then putting a, a, a subsequent point and then sketching the derivative from there. But there are a couple of uh, key tips that you can um, you can take from this as well. So if I have this equation here, y equals negative 3x plus 2, that graph looks a little bit like this. It has two intercepts that I can find out. Um, I can just by doing the derivative of, of 3x, negative 3x plus 2, I can find that the derivative is negative 3. Um, but I guess I just want to show you um, how uh, that kind of works uh, for, for this graph and then we'll sort of make some um, rules and um, theories from there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out what the x value is at each individual point along here. I've just chosen negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1 and 2. I could have chosen anything but that's the, those are the ones I've chosen. Now my y value when I substitute negative 2 I get 8, 5, 2, negative 1 and negative 4. As you can see the y values are going down at, um, as the x values get bigger. But the gradient um, at these, these points, the gradient actually is always negative 3. It doesn't change at any point along this graph. It is always negative 3. So it doesn't matter what x value it is, it's always a constant gradient. And so I end up getting this line here, y equals negative 3. Okay. Now, just some general things that you can know when we're drawing the gradients, and, and we'll have a look at this a little bit more. If the, the graph of y, or if your original function has a positive gradient, then the graph of the derivative um, is above the x-axis. Okay. If the graph, um, if your original graph has a negative gradient, as in, you know, it's going down, then we sketch below the x-axis, and. Uh, I guess, like, let me just pause on that for a second, because what we've done is instead of having y and x as our two axes, we've still got x, but we've changed the y axis to um, the gradient function. And so I guess anything above this x axis, it, we're saying that it's got a positive gradient. Anything below the x axis, we're saying it's got a negative gradient. Okay. And then finally, um, a stationary point, or when the gradient is, a, is zero on the original graph, that will become an x-intercept. Um, because that's when the gradient is zero um, of the, the gradient graph. Okay, so hopefully that helps a little bit. Let's have a look at an, another example here. So I've got x squared minus 4x. Um, I know, you know, that's what it looks like um, over here. And the stationary point uh, at 2, negative 4, and intercepts at 0 and x equals 4. So I'm going to, um, like, I guess, use this table. Um, to find out what all of the answers will be. I'm, I'm just going to pause and fill in these um, answers um, just so you don't have to watch me doing all that. Okay, so those are all the, um, the values. As you can see, between negative 2 and 2, um, the graph is uh, initially positive, um, gets to 0 um, when x is equal to 0 as well, and then um, becomes negative. So it's a negative gradient um, all along the way between negative 2 and 2. So now what I'm actually do, going to do is I'm actually going to find the, the gradient at each individual point as well. So I'm going to substitute negative 2 into the gradient function and, um, and, and see what I get. In this case, I get you know negative 2, so that becomes negative 8. Um, that is negative 6, that negative 4, negative 2, and 0. This is just to highlight that um, sometimes the gradient can be doing something different than, than the y values. Um, this table um, is, is not necessary. We, we don't need to keep drawing this table to work out um, this, these graphs, but sometimes it can be just helpful to just get the idea that um, you can have different y values and, and different gradients based on the same x values. Okay. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm now going to draw this graph here. And the, the key point I'm going to look at is the stationary point. The stationary point is 2, negative 4. Based on this information up here, I know that at 2, when x is 2, my y value um, which has now become my gradient value, my y value is actually going to be zero. Okay, so because look, my, my new y value is my gradient value, so at the, at the point x equals two, I cross the x-intercept because that's a stationary point. And as you can see here, when x equals negative two, which is somewhere along over here, my y value, my new y value is going to be negative eight because that's I'm you know, measuring the gradient here, so that's negative 8, and then negative 6, and then negative 4, and then negative 2, and then 0, and then it gets, starts getting positive. 
basically anything above, uh, sorry, anything to the right of x equals two should be a positive gradient. It starts off being a fairly small positive, um, you know, uh, part here, ends up being a, a rather large number up here. Okay, the gradient at this point here, when you know x equals eight or nine, is actually quite large, and so therefore it should be, um, you know, up here somewhere. And when similarly, when um, when x is just to the left hand side of two, it's only slightly negative. Um, and then it continues down, um, you know, and when X is say negative uh, two, you know, it's negative eight. And then when X it gets further negative, the gradient gets uh, steeper and steeper um, in the negative direction. So therefore we can um, draw this graph here, okay? In the next video, I'll have a look at another couple of examples just to kind of help us to get this idea of, um, of drawing the, the gradient graph um, from the original graph.